December 24th of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today, we're talking about uh, Christmas Who from Spongebob, and it's a Spongebob Christmas. Tomorrow, we're talking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh my god, This is double feature for every two IMDb's. Kid? Christmas Who? This is no second to the last one, kid. Ever. I gotta be damn to shush. Nobody between the bottom <laughs> has ever heard of Christmas or Santa Claus until Sandy lets them in on the surface on the surface tradition. SpongeBob wants to bring Christmas to Bikini Bottom. And then for SpongeBob Christmas, Plankton, Mr. Krabs' is nemesis, vows to get his Christmas wish, obtaining the Krabby Patty secret wait, the Krusty Krabs Krabby Patty formula by turning everyone to in bed in Bikini Bottom with the help of his special Drutonium laced fruit cake. Uh, this is. Our almost last one of this series. Oh my god. It's Christmas Eve. I can't. Don't you dare to do this. It, is okay. this like. Is, is this the one that has that, um, claymation art style? Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. that's the one. It's, it's fun for Christmas. Right okay. Uh, yeah. People that are. I really people, like that one. It's a really good one. People that. I've never seen it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh yeah, I've never seen it. People that are currently listening to this. If. We're not. If if just say we suddenly we're suddenly just like really really popular, like get a whole bunch of views and a whole bunch of subscribers. I don't think like, we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna do this twenty days of Christmas thing again unless we're popular enough to get like. We are never it doing it again. And got okay. Requested. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 we aren't doing that. It's again. What if we can? I'm. 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 i Yep. Man. I cannot I, I, taste it. I've never seen I've never I seen the I've never seen the Star Wars special. Down the block. Oh, I think I go there. It's a nice little convenience store. Really good there. actually. Anyways, what's your guys' oh, yeah. general well, thoughts it's on It's the first time, it's time we ever see Patchy thing. animated. Yeah, really good one. yeah. Oh I love there's a line that I love. It's just like wow, oh, I can't believe we survived that horrible car crash without a scratch. It's <laughs> amazing. Alright. So, this is a double feature of an episode because, um, you know, you gotta do something nostalgic, which is. You gotta do something nostalgic with this Christmas, too. And then Pop was like saying, I've never seen It's a SpongeBob Christmas. So I'm like, you know what? We should watch that one, too. Yeah, so, plus, hold on. When did It's a SpongeBob Christmas come out? 2015? Hold on, I'm literally on IMDb. Let me check. Oh, it's... Oh, 2012. That makes sense. And it was actually based on a 2008 Spongebob Christmas song called Don't Be a Jerk, It's Christmas from yep, the Spongebob I remember, album. I remember listening to that on like an MP3 player like forever ago. Like, well, obviously forever ago. But I, I, before the special... And then when the special air song started playing... Um, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I remember they had a contest to see, uh, what kid would make the best Spongebob, uh, Spongebob animation for that music, for the, uh, song in that album. One of them was some kid with very elaborate Lego skills. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I've seen that. I'm going to on the background because I have nothing else to do with my life. Are right, you guys gonna go watch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I killed all the demons. Oh no, wait, there's one behind me. Oh frick, oh heck, oh no. Oh, it was wonderful. I'm gonna uh, cry. 
That was so good, actually. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. How, did you think, how did you think of It's a SpongeBob Christmas? First time watching it. Uh, it was pretty alright. Oh I, oh, I see how it is. You hated it. Do I have to send Mecha Gendy here? Yeah. No. I am ready. Ready to destroy that oh, cat. Oh, 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 crap. He's gone rogue. Oh, no. Oh, heck. Oh, frick. Oh, no. Hold up. Oh, Lord. Gotta, oh, oh, Jesus. Take him out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you will mobilize him. You will mobilize him. Fighter. You will mobilize him for now. He's, he's down. You, you hit, you hit, you hit, you hit the, um, the off switch in the back of his head. Gotta yep. take out the big guns that are turn him off forever. Yep. I will send that creature to the scrap heap I got him from. Can, can we talk about how Tom Kenny is amazing and we never deserved him? Yeah. Yes. It's true. Tom, oh my god, Patchy is amazing. I want more Patchy. Oh yeah. Alright, but well, which is the better Christmas special? Christmas Who or It's a Spongebob Christmas? Christmas Who. They got more laughs out of me, honestly. Yeah, yeah I'm really it's more like, I, really, I just, I'm a sucker for stop motion. I just really like stop motion. It's cool, and they put in a lot of effort. While I will yeah. always be more nostalgic for Christmas Who, I don't know, I kind of like It's a Spongebob Christmas better. I'm just as surprised as you, but compared to the old movie, it's got some charm. Yep. Also, yeah, pretty good, but you know. Also, we just gonna talk about how Squidward being a Santa denier. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, Squidward. Why you gotta be hating on us? Why are you gonna be hating on Santa like that? Squidward just hates Santa. Like, what does Santa ever do to Squid? He gave you a gift. He let you know he's there, and then he's. He danced underwater for you, buddy! What more could you ask for? Man... Man breathed underwater just for you! Just goes absolutely nuts, just like... Oh my god. It's amazing. Yeah. You might as well take the door. That's all that's left. I used to quote that whenever we, our school would have, like, the big test, and the teacher would be like, Okay, this is the one time we're letting you have gum. I'd be pulling out my box of five, and everyone's like, Hey, can I get some five from you? Yeah, man, me too. Me too. Eventually, I'd run out of gum, and, uh... Then someone comes up to me like, Hey, you got some gum left? And I'm like, You might as well chew on the box. That's all that's left. Dang. Did anyone actually accept that and just freaking grab the box and just eat it? Just take the box and go, ah. No, but I once did. Just a massive, just a mm. massive bite out of it. I once chewed the box because I didn't want to throw it uh, away. I see. Uh, uh, it still had that smell and the flavor. I love the quote, and it's a SpongeBob Christmas, just get out of my pocket, you foul goblin. Or <laughs> me pocket. I should use that more often. I should use that. I love that. I am ready. Also, I've been watching some promo art for things, and it was like, uh... I've been watching some of the promos with the Spongebob yep. Christmas, and, uh... They keep referring to him as Toy Bob, but they never say Toy Bob in the special. Well, it's because he's a wind-up toy, so they just assumed. Yeah, but Wait, wouldn't it make more sense to call him, like, Robo Sponge or guys. Sponge Rob? Guys, do you guys realize this is December 24th? It's We're Christmas almost done. Eve. Oh my god. We're almost Wait, done. By the time I'm listening to this, I'm probably oh, in the yeah. car, and we're going to Grandpa's house, and we're going to have some Christmas cheesecake. I'm probably at my dad's right now. Just I'm probably at work. Gindy. <laughs> oh Gindy. yeah, I forgot. Gindy, I, you're listening I, to this. 
Kindy, I hope you're listening to this. You're listening to this in the car right now. And there's a tree. You're staring at the tree, wondering why I'm. I'm do- uh, I forgot. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of. I'm trying to freak you out because you should go listen to this later. So. Get, 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 watch out for the other car. Ah! Get no, get oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm not even driving. I'm in the back with my sister. He has headphones on. He can't hear us. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, There's a truck coming. Get Gandy, no way, no Gandy. <laughs> this is just so meta. I love it. Now that my horrific incident of terror is over, how about some breakfast? I can't believe you survived uh, that horrific car crash without a scratch. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh lord. I I, I was in a car. I got. I was in a car crash, crash once. I was too. Because there was this I big truck who uh, pulled in front of my mom. Did was you die? Car crash? No. Well, sadly, yes, but I lived. I was in a car uh, crash. It's called my birth. I, I was in a car crash. I had a buddy my, who uh, worked at the first. local Taco He's Bell who saw the whole story. thing on their security cameras. We can't understand you guys talking at the same time. I was saying story time because Gendy was telling a story. Yeah. You can go ahead, Mr. Owen. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically, um, it was me, Finn, um, Quinn, all the brother, and then one of his friends. We were in the car. I don't know where we were going. I think we were gonna like pizza or something. And we were about to turn, but this other lady, she um, thought it was her turn, so she turned the same way we were going, and we collided. That was fun. You die. <laughs> I gotta ride an, amb- an, 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 an ambulance to the police, to the fire station. And you then die? gotta go home. Yes, sadly, but I live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's do this right now. Let's have a story. Okay, so I had a buddy who worked the late shift at the, uh... Well, I mean, the evening shift at the Taco Bell that we had the car crash right in front of. And I'm, like, at school the next day, and he's like, Dude, what happened? I saw you and your mom, and, uh, what was going on? I'm like, eh, I'm fine. My head hurts a little, but nothing too bad. He just dies. Nah, nah, nah. I'm fine. I'm fine. He just passes out. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just flat lines. Uh, um, so I remember I senior, senior year in psychology. We watched Christmas Who on, 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 in class, and it was amazing. Uh, it was during Christmas, obviously. It was amazing. And also, I think we watched uh, Trailer Brown Thanksgiving. You know, you uh, know. Sometimes your holiday specials they mix up in your head. What happened? We all died. Did, did I? Did I? Did I just lose consciousness? What? What is this place? Who are you people? I once passed out on the school lunch floor. <laughs> what? What? Pop, you've been in a coma for two years. It's all been a dream. Everyone huddled around me, and I'm like, well, what's going on? Is this a dream? They're like, oh god, he's woke up! Dude, are you okay? This first. And the, the vice principal's, like, holding me, trying to calm me down. Before I can say anything, I just projectile vomit. You got him. It's been a I keep trying to talk, I'm like, I'm fine! Ugh. I'm fine! Ugh. I have to wheelchair me out and I keep vomiting all the way until uh, my mom has to pick me up. So, uh, so that was that was just a- so you were just- you just really had a grudge just the janitor, I guess. No, no, not like that at all. 
the school janitor is the most important part of any school. Exactly, they're the best freaking part of the school. The janitor is always ripped, but the gym teacher is always either really skinny or fat. Yeah, another thing with the janitor, if you can be friends with them, they can hook you up. Like, yeah, they're I, like the best person. I went to an elementary school where, uh... The janitor would give me Bakugan that he found across the school grounds. Really? Well, that's yeah, I got a freaking hammer golem from oh. this guy. Cool. He gave me a Chaos Hammer Golem. I don't remember if he gave me anything else, but that was a Bakugan at a point where my stepdad didn't want me to didn't want to buy us toys. So mm -hmm. I had to I had to trade my snack cakes for every Bakugan I had. Dang. Huh. Except Just for trade, like the one Christmas food for, where I got some. Get he mm. trades food for Bakugans colorized. Yes. Hey, hey. When you're trading a falconeer for a Swiss roll, get back to me. Oh. Huh. I mean the you teachers did didn't like it, but Hey, I needed to build my Bakugan arsenal. My my Blade Tigrera got taken away, and I kept saying it got sent to the Doom Dimension. Uh. Yeah, that's whatever we would say whenever uh, Bakugan got taken away. We'd be like, oh man, it got sent to the Doom Dimension. Yep. And you'd be sitting there waiting yep. for the last day, and then it'd be like, all right, here's the toys we confiscated. Take whatever. I, I'm not sure if I told a story on this podcast yet, but um, I remember when I I brought my game my original GBA to school, and um, the teacher took it away because because I was because I, I was playing on it, and <laughs> she had this drawer that she would always keep the complicated stuff in. So she went off to the bathroom. I go over to the drawer, take it and, 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 op and open the drawer and just take it out and close the drawer and put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> take it, just take it back. We, Dude, call that, we, call that, we call that personal property. We call, that's what we call a pro gamer move. move. She never knew. Or you could just you could just tell the principal, the teacher yeah. touched me on my no-no zone. Get it now. And then they took my Game Boy and all of that. <gasps> Not your Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I had a principal who, in his eyes, the only video games that existed were Pac-Man and Call of Duty. Aw, uh, <laughs> it's always Call of Duty. Just every freaking grown up I know loves Call of Duty, and it's so weird. Like yeah. the only like current game that they know, like just, you you like play Call of Duty in front of them, like one of the new ones. And like, oh, is that that one um th that one shooter Call of Duty game? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, oh, let me see. And then they freaking sit there for hours. My like, my dad will I sit on the couch. <laughs> my dad will sit on the couch for hours and just play Warzone. And he always, like, you know, Warzone's a Battle Royale game, right? Mm -hmm. He always goes for the same, like, the same exact spot and has never won a round. He goes to the same spot every time, and I, t I tell him, it's not working. <laughs> just, it's not working. Just give up. Because <laughs> just go for the same place and die every time. <laughs> yeah. My dad's pretty cool, though. He's been playing video games since the Intellivision. I want to be that one cool uncle that just hooks their kid, hooks their um cousins up with like a lot of good views. My school, my school got a my my school had like three wees. Huh. They okay, yeah. like one year we got like we got three wees, and since I was in like the special ed class, that's where they kept the wee. So I mm -hmm. like every day. I, I just I, I just I should have had like <laughs> a bunch of save files on games because the Wii was kept in in, in the room that I, that I was usually in. Nice. Just like I was, I was like, oh yeah, um, 
you're finished with your work. Go play. Go go, go play some Mario. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> sick. The only time I ever got to play the Wii in school was in gym class, and it was mostly stuff like uh, Just Dance, Summer Hits, or Country Dance. Hmm. You ever play Country uh, Dance? I remember. I remember when we were allowed to bring games. Nothing. We were allowed to bring your own game. Nothing over T for Teen. I brought Brawl. <laughs> Nobody beat me. I just, sla- I, I just I just slaughtered everybody, and nobody wanted to play brawl anymore because I was I, I just beat them all. That's what we call scrubs. Remember, people, no Johns. No, that Mr. Cows fought in Vietnam. It, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you look at his driver's license, he was born in 1942. The youngest he could have possibly been to serve in the, mil- in the military was 18, which he wasn't until 1960. Bikini Bottom uses U.S. currency, so we can safely say that he lives in the United States territory. Therefore, he fought in Vietnam. This post brought to you by a random post that's been spread around the internet. Mr. Yeah, Cox has fought born, in Dom. If he was born yeah. in the 40s, then wow. He could be in his 70s now. Bunchrop was in, yep. like, born in 1986, I think, or 85, I don't know. We don't know. We're not sure. We'll never know! <laughs> but what if we do know? But... Again, we, again, we don't... We don't know. Perhaps we can look up clues in the show. You know, just like that delightful fellow who says that Mario is a psychopath. Oh, neat. Pretty spooky. <laughs> the fellow who told me that McDonald's makes more money off of real estate than they do hamburgers. Hamburger. And they said like a billion burgers a day. How's that possible? Oh more burger. Don't oh, make some money. Uh, then money. again. I want to make money. Have you ever yeah, been to yeah. White Castle or Crystal? Yeah, that's just, they're the same restaurant. Yeah. No. If you've ever I've been, been to, to one of them, then you've been to the other one. I've literally Pretty never much. seen one in real life, so. They're a both. What? A White, White Castle, Castle or a Crystal? Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. It's the White they Building, let, it's a White Castle. They let you buy bulk burgers. Ooh. You can buy like okay. 12 burgers for a five. You, ha- you, you have to be okay with like a little bit of flavoring of onion. Because even if there's onions on the burger or not, it tastes kind of oniony, but they're good burgers. And the fries well, are decent, the but there fries, isn't the enough fries, of them. The fries just straight up taste not very good. Hey, even bad fries can be good if you get enough of them. Why are we going from SpongeBob to talking about White Castle? What? What? What even? What kind of? What kind of chain of events is this? Wendy says best fries. I swear to God, Papa, I know you don't like them. But no, they don't. They taste like cardboard. Wendy says okay fries, but they could I be sw- better. I- Burger King best fries. No, Burger King has like the worst Burger ones. Burger King doesn't give you enough fries. Burger King okay. best fries. You know who, okay, you guys don't even know what this is, but, but, but. Um, Denny's? Denny's have a really good fries. I've never been to Denny's. I've yeah, no, been to a Denny's. Denny's. There's like one near me somewhere. They're I really good fries. We have, I have never been to Denny's or IHOP, yet yeah, we have both. Go we both. also have a Waffle House in our area. You ever been Waffle to Waffle House? House? Waffle House for me, it's like, <laughs> you know, like you'll eat, like get like a waffle there. Cause how do you go to Waffle House and not get a waffle? You know, it's Waffle House, it's like waffle, you know, waffle. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did I say? Waffle so many times. It's really good food. Okay. Okay. Even though the every restaurant's kind of dirty. Every, every time you go there, every time I go there, I leave like so full, no matter how much I eat. It's called the waffle. I never say I... waffle again. I also say waffle. <laughs> So again. I've lost my mind. Waffle. I lost my mind at this point. 
this, this part, the 24 days of Christmas take, has taken a toll on us, okay? Uh, yeah, we but it's all over. right. We're gonna all open our presents. Our lives have decreased by about five years because of this podcast, all right? Especially mine, because I'm the one who has to edit it. Y'all, y'all just have to show up and be all wholesome and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna wholesome. be all right. Especially <laughs> since, uh, Kit, you outlive one of us. Oh. What's gonna happen? He's gonna... You need to die, Yendi. When are you gonna die? You. I no was gonna live out. I'll live all of us because he's the youngest. Not necessarily. He could, he, could, he could die right now. It's Gen Z. Oh, yeah. I can do that's, stupid shit. That that that. That's your cute to die. Like the last one, you just <laughs> just coughing. Okie okay, dokie. What you guys want to talk about, or should we wrap it up? I think we should wrap it up in a neat little bow. Did, did you have bow? more to say? Did you have more to say? It sounded like you had more to say. Wrap it in a bow, put it under the tree, and then in Christmas morning, we will be able to open it. All right. Well, so tomorrow, join yeah. us for the final day of 25 Days of Christmas for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Be kind, rewind, and we'll see you there.